there, you're here. So we'll be starting with warm up and mobility, starting with this around the world. So grab up your dumbbells with or without the dumbbells. We'll be placing our wrists in front of our thigh, facing forward, and just lift the weights towards overhead on the side of the elbows and on top of the head. Do this for 12 rounds. This workout activates back and your joint mobility. While doing this, keep a core brace and a glutes tight. Alright, next is let's have a bent over arm braces. You'll feel in this movement a stretch on your back and also works around our shoulder mobility. Doing this, go on your bent over position, tailbone on the back, straight spine. Followed by a bent over back squeeze with the same posture, with the deadlift posture and bent over posture. We'll be just swinging our hands towards our back, feeling the squeeze on your back muscles. Are you ready? We'll be starting with front raises. It's a single, single double. So we'll be raising the arms forward one by one, followed by a two front hand raises. Repeat this pair for 8 rounds. While doing this, maintain a shoulder press down and a square hips and shoulders. All throughout the movements, we'll be bracing our core and squeezing your glutes and just a soft bending knees. Alright, next is we'll be sitting on the mat and we'll be doing a seated shoulder press. Place the dumbbells on your shoulders and gently incline to 45 degree against the floor and press the dumbbells towards the ceiling or just overhead. Go it back towards the chest and just resist the gravity when the movement is going down. Keep your elbow under the shoulders and just continue this movement for 15 press. Alright, let's have our quick rest. So while resting, we'll be stretching those arms. So get us ready for our next movement. Alright, let's get ready to grab our dumbbells or weights that you have and we'll be having a side raises. So just lift the dumbbells on the side enough that you can see your dumbbells on your peripheral vision while lifting the weights. Just maintain the shoulder pressed down. We'll be strengthening our shoulders here and upper back to help us build a good posture. Alright, we'll be followed by a seated shoulder presses like what you did earlier. So the same sit on the mat, knees together, and then incline to 45 degree. Maintain that posture. Do not slouch your back. Keep a chest open while doing this, this process towards the ceiling. Core is also stabilizing, maintaining your balance. So you won't be falling over towards your mat. Alright, let's have a quick stretch. And we'll be followed by a skull crusher. So lie down on the mat while resting and stretching. So good rest is important for your recovery for a better performance on your next movement. Alright, so skull crushers placing the dumbbells on top of the chest and then bending your arms 90 degree. 
so that your target for the abdominals is just above your forehead. Observe your elbows not swinging back and forth. Keep it on top of your shoulders or chest level. And just continue these reps for 15 presses. Look on your dumbbells all throughout this movement. Alright, we'll be followed by a chest press to fly. Alright, grab at the dumbbells. We're gonna press the dumbbells towards the ceiling and followed by an opened arms for a chest fly. Just drop the weights on the side and open arms, not locking your elbows. This works on your chest muscle, biceps and triceps, and also mobility for your shoulders. Even so, upper body is just moving. We'll always keep our core active so that the whole performance will be intact. Continue this movement for 15 pairs. You will feel that endurance on your chest muscles and arms. Alright, we got few more pairs on this. Keep going. I know you've got this. How is that? Alright, next is a hip bridge hold and we're just gonna hold it for 20 seconds. So while doing your hip bridge hold, maintain a squeezed glutes and a squeeze lower abdominals. You'll feel that. So keep it squeezing in both of them. Alright, we're gonna repeat from the Skull Crushers for one more round. This will be followed by chest press to fly and a hip bridge hold for 20 seconds. So remember, Skull Crushers have 15 reps. The essence and importance of this movement is the alignment of your form and making sure that precise movements are in execution. So every time you press the dumbbells towards the ceiling, feel that tricep squeezing in. Alright, just a quick recovery before we proceed to our chest press to fly. Place that dumbbells on top of the elbow. Elbows are 90 degree bend while pressing up followed by a fly. So open arms like a wings but never lock the elbow and just repeat this pairs for 15 rounds. Yes, as you may see, chest should be open, pressing your chest towards the ceiling and squeezing that upper back. Feeling the contraction when you squeeze in and presses up. We got a few more reps for this movement. Keep going. Alright, ready for your glute bridge hold. So remember, you're pressing your heels against the mat to push it forward. If you cannot do a full hip bridge, it's okay if you're gonna help with your hands to push your hips towards the ceiling. So squeeze your lower back, squeeze your glutes, feel it on your hamstrings and your lower abdominals. Alright, so we'll be followed by another front raises. Single, single, double, front raises. So hip with the part legs. Shoulder and hip are square. And then we're gonna lift the weights one by one and followed by a double front raise. We got few more pairs for this. 
keep going and feel that presses on your shoulders. You want to get that toned shoulders, athletic feature of your upper body. This is a great help. Alright, while resting, you can just have an arm rolls or just quick sip of your water or tap your sweat by your towel and just revert back to me after a few seconds. We'll be switching to another upper body workout. Now grab up that dumbbells and ready for standing Arnold presses. To preset the Arnold presses, dumbbells or your wrists should be facing towards the chest. And as you press the dumbbell towards the ceiling, gently twist your wrist facing front. So that's alternating in, out, in, out, in, and push. We've got 15 reps for your Arnold presses. Remember to never shrug the shoulders. But all through the throughout the movement, make sure that your shoulders keeps on pressing down. Yes. All right. Let's get ready for another round of side raises. You've done this earlier, and we'll just repeating the movement for this side. All right. Remember when you do side raises, never lock the elbows and never shrug your shoulders up and down. As you may see, shoulders and hips should be square and never swing your upper body back and front. Alright, so make sure your wrist isn't bending for this one. When you lift the dumbbells, your wrist should be facing towards the floor and your face on the side. Alright, we got second round for your Arnold presses after the side raises. So just another 15 presses here. Alright, keep your hips and shoulders square. As you observe, legs should be hip width apart. Don't lock the knees. And just allow your upper body to do the effort in here. Alright, we got a few second rest before we proceed to our next exercise. Everybody get ready while having a deadlift to bicep curl. So to preset hips, uh, to preset legs are just hip width apart and then dumbbells on your thigh, your wrist is facing in the front. Now we're going to slide down the dumbbells just on the knees or below the knees and then pull through your lower back and followed by a curl. Remember when you're doing a bicep curl, never ever swing your elbows back and front. Just keep your elbows under the shoulders and just feel that squeeze on your bicep muscle. So we're doing this workout for 15 pairs. You'll feel it on your lower back. Alright, we'll be followed by a bent over row. So earlier on your deadlift position or your bent over position, stay your spine straight, tailbone facing towards the back. Make sure that your spine is just straight and not bending. Keep looking down and just lift the weights towards the head and pull the weights towards your diaphragm. Elbow pulling towards the ceiling while squeezing that mid back of yours. Keep pulling the dumbbells towards the side of your ribs, back to your overhead, ribs, overhead, and ribs. Alright, make sure you're not breaking the line. Just make a, a semicircle motion on your arms let's have a quick rest and then we're gonna repeat deadlift the bicep curl with bent over rows
Alright, second round, we got 15 reps for deadlift to bicep curl. This time, as you learn the movement, you'll be maximizing your performance because you are more familiar with the movement. Keep going. Even so, the movement is just simple. Remember to never relax your core. So always engage the core, activate and squeeze it in, but never hold your breath and keep the spine straight. This movement also develops and helps you to build a good posture. Alright, bicep curl to keep our arms strong. But we're not going to look so bulky in here. Few reps. Alright, so roll the shoulders and ready for a bent over rows. Again, we'll be having an extended length or a longer range for this bent over rows by lifting the dumbbells almost close to your overhead and just roll the dumbbells towards the side of your ribs your elbows facing towards the ceiling making sure that your elbows should be squeezed in so that you can feel that mid back squeezing as well Great job! We're almost finished for this workout. So we'll be having a one minute rest for this part because we needed this rest for our energy for our finishers. So get ready for your finishers. We'll be having a side to side burpee. No worries if you haven't done the burpees before. We'll be having an option or regress level of the burpees. This is your time to have some stretches or some recovery. Have a quick sip of water but not too much because we'll be having some hopping and jumping for the last movement. We've got 20 seconds more. If you're ready, then place your dumbbells on the middle of your mat because that will be our line for our side to side group. So, side to side burpees in three, two, one, and let's start. Hop on the side and then just drop your body towards the mat and then just jump to progress, open legs, and keep this movement flowing. Option if you cannot jump, just step, step on the side. Towards the plank, drop, step, step. But if you're more moderate to advance, you got hop and jump to plank, drop the weights, and then jump back to your squat, lifting those weights towards the top while keeping that momentum to push yourself on the other side. We've got a few more seconds for you in here. I know you feel that breath, but stay with me. You'll be amazed and feeling awesome after this burpees. For your finishers, get ready. Almost few. And yes, that's it. You're doing a great job. And congratulations for finishing that one. I hope you had enjoyed this workout. But before I let you go, let's have a quick stretch and recovery before we end this workout just breathe in and exhale with me all right seated on your mat we got crossing that legs here and when you do this just twist use your elbow if you cannot reach it just the arms and just twist your upper body towards the side feel that stretches on your lumbar so that our bone on the hips is also mobile. Alright, on your pigeon pose, we're just gonna hold this for a few seconds. Now we're going to push the mat away from us and squeezing that lower back. 
Now switch to the other side. Same pigeon paws. And press the mat. Now on your child paws, we're gonna have to twist through the thread the needle. Left hand over right. And switch right hand over left. If you need more time, you can just continue with the stretches. And if you're still game for one more round, you can just repeat this exercise from the top for one more round. Alright, we got cut crow in here to loosen up and strengthen the spine. This exercise is very good. Recovery and mobility for our body. We've got a few more. Alright, sit and this is straight. And roll that spine all the way up, lifting that heels. Alright, thank you for being with me here. I'll see you again on my next video. Bye!